If you've watched any television in the past 20 years, you've probably seen an ad for Colonial Pen. They like to heavily advertise on shows geared towards seniors, and for years their spokesman was Alex Trebek, the star of Jeopardy. Colonial Pen is a life insurance company that unfortunately gives the insurance industry a bad name, and seeing how scummy that industry can be, that's really quite an accomplishment. Colonial Pen is a company that likes to pull the wool over the eyes of unsuspecting seniors and confuse them with a cheap product that looks like a good idea at first, but the deeper you look, the worse it gets. Colonial's main life insurance plan that they advertise everywhere is their $9.95 a month plan. The price hasn't changed in over 20 years, and they claim it never will. Colonial wants people to believe they just want to help seniors have an affordable life insurance policy that all seniors can afford. I'm Jonathan Lawson, here to tell you about life insurance through the Colonial Pen Program. If you're age 50 to 85 and looking to buy life insurance on a fixed budget, remember the three Ps. The three what? The three Ps. What are the three Ps? The three P's of life insurance on a fixed budget are price, price, and price. A price you can afford, a price that can't increase, and a price that fits your budget. I'm 54 and was a smoker, but quit. What's my price? You can get coverage for $9.95 a month. I'm 65, retired, and take medications. What's my price? Also $9.95 a month. Now, unfortunately, that $9.95 plan is complete garbage that helps almost no one and leaves the families of seniors wondering where all the money is once their loved one eventually passes away. If you think I'm lying, a quick trip over to their Better Business Bureau page will reveal their one-star rating with hundreds of angry customers voicing their disdain with having to deal with this horribly misleading company. While the complaints on that page are numerous, one of the main issues a lot of people have is with how the company advertises their plans to seniors. Now, life insurance, which in my opinion should be named death insurance, is a policy where someone pays into an insurance premium every month, and then when they unfortunately pass away someday, the insurance company pays out the total to the surviving family members of the loved one lost. Many seniors get these plans so that when they pass on, their kids can use the insurance money to pay their final expenses, like burial costs or cremation. With the average funeral cost now running around $7,000 in the U.S., that's a lot of money to most people. Life insurance, if it's a good policy, can pay for that and not leave your children having to burden the cost of it. The issue with Colonial Pen is that they lead seniors to believe that their 995 plan is a great deal that everyone can get since there are no medical requirements, and they always advertise that your acceptance is guaranteed in all of their ads. When seniors see this plan, they sign up, pay their 995 a month, and then believe they have set their kids up for when they will eventually pass on, but that's almost always not the case. What Colonial doesn't advertise in their ads is that their 995 plan offers so little coverage that in most cases it will never be able to cover anyone's final expenses. The younger you sign up for their plan, the more you get. However, if you sign up at the first chance at 50 years old, after you pass away, your beneficiary will only get 1600 if you were a man or 2000 if you were female. The older you are when you sign up for the policy, the less will be paid out as well. A 70-year-old, after passing, would only leave $689 to their beneficiary if he was a man, or $1,000 if it was a woman passing on. At 70 years old, paying $9.95 a month, you would only need to live just six years, and you could have put that $10 a month into a savings account and end up with a bigger nest egg for your kids than the insurance premium would end up paying out. These plans are deceptively bad, but continually get pushed by the company because many seniors are on fixed income and think they are getting a great deal when they aren't. Another big issue with their plan is that it has a two-year waiting period on payouts. What this means is that if a senior signs up for the 995 plan and then passes away before hitting three years with the policy, the company isn't required to pay out the death benefits of the policy. It will often pay back whatever amount was paid into the policy at that point, but almost never more than that. In order to receive a larger amount of death benefit payout, you need to pay more money. Colonial Pen deceptively markets their 995 plan as one unit of insurance. If you want more payout, you need to buy more units of the policy every month. So two units of the 995 plan would run seniors nearly $20. Colonial Pen, because of their constant advertising and the fact that the 995 plan lets anyone into the program, also has much higher rates if you want their premium plans 
compared to other life insurance companies. If you wanted a $5,000 payout on your death, this would cost significantly more and depending on your age, almost double Mutual of Omaha's plan for the same amount of money. The situation only gets worse if you end up scrolling through the countless one-star reviews on their Better Business review page. Difficulty and long wait times on payouts seem to be the norm for this company, while difficulty in communication also seems to be a major issue as well. The company trying not to give full payouts and even sending payout to the wrong address are all listed as complaints as well in their ever-growing list of one-star reviews. Seeing a company that tries to take advantage of seniors in their final years with a horrible product that ends up providing almost no help for their loved ones once they pass is truly a scumbag thing to do. However, as I've covered in the past, ripping off senior citizens seems to be a profitable business model for a lot of companies and celebrities. I recently covered Tom Selleck and his love of screwing over seniors with the reverse home mortgage company he likes to do ads for. It's unfortunate that Alex Trebek worked for Colonial Pen for so long when they offer such a terrible product and from their reviews seem to provide some of the worst customer service possible. If seniors want life insurance to cover their final expenses, almost every other company that offers it would seem to be a better option than Colonial Pen. This company spends millions of years on advertising on programs seniors watch on TV with the hope of tricking them into thinking they are getting a great deal, when in reality the only one truly benefiting from this deal is Colonial Pen. Most of the seniors that sign up for this horrible policy would be much better off putting $1,000 into a savings account and leaving that for their loved ones than trying to make the horrible 995 insurance plan from Colonial Pen work for them.